Spanish people are a lot more tactile than English people. They kiss each other a lot. Um, men kiss men, women kiss men, women, you know, and it's not a problem. Every, you know, I think we're blowing this out of all proportion. I don't agree that he should have kissed her on the lips, and that is unusual, but in view of the fact that the Spanish are generally more um, demonstrative in their passion, then I think that, you know, we should just say, well, he's obviously made a mistake. He didn't mean to. If the woman well, concerned did hasn't complained, that's fine. He did mean to. He meant to kiss her, and he did. Well, he did kiss her, but, I mean, did he mean to kiss her on the lips? I mean, that was a moment well, of... Uh, that was an error, it? and it may have been that he was... He just made a mistake at that moment in time well, because, of his, on the because he was, he was overcome do? by the situation. Oh, yeah, but it's not an excuse. He's a grown man, for God's sake, Philip. He doesn't need... Oh, I was so excited. I, I just couldn't help myself. Crazy. That's a very good point, but it's not... I mean, the English people look at it in a different way. That's no. my point. Well, we, don't we, we don't, we're quite rigid in comparison. So you're less likely to kiss someone if you're if in Spain, so in England. So it's more likely that if this happens, it's more deliberate because we're just not used to doing it. Stay and there. In Spain, they do it quite a lot. Stay there. Here's Anna in Hendon. Anna, what do you make of it? Uh, <laughs> it's all I've got to say. Kissing is one thing. I mean, I've lived in on the continent where people kiss each other on the cheek or two or three times even when, they, when they're being accused but on the lips, I'm sorry, that's a sexual act. And it, it, it's an example of a man feeling that he's entitled to do this to a woman. I think it was disgusting. Philip? Oh, I disagree entirely. I think it's just blown out of proportion. I mean, I think there yeah, well, are more important things that, to concern ourselves man. about. I don't think it's a sexual act ne necessarily. You have to, you know, in all acts, if, you, if it were a crime, you'd have to consider intent. I mean, crime is divided into two elements, actus reus and... Um, there, there you go, sorry. Yes, yeah. yeah, and, and act, actus reus and uh, men, mens rea. And the me you have to consider his intent, and his intent, I'm sure, wasn't any, anything sexual. He just made it in his eyes. I'm sure he, he, he was just a bit, a bit over the top. The number of times I've heard men say when they've committed a sexual act towards a woman that they didn't intend to hurt her or anything, the fact yeah, is... Excuse me, you've had your say. Can I just have a, a couple Quite of sentences right. without being interrupted? Go on, Anna. Thank you. Um, the fact is that it's an attitude of that a man is entitled to do that to a woman. I'm saying if he kissed her on both cheeks two or three times, nobody would have said anything. If he'd hugged her, nobody would have said anything. But to kiss someone on the lips is actually a sexual act. And it, it only works because a man is doing it to a woman. I'm sorry. It, it, you know, it, it's undignified for the woman. Why should she put up with it? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> well, I'm saying it's not necessarily a sexual act. It depends on the intent. Philip, are you um, a big football fan? Sorry? Are you a big football fan? I like watching the World Cup. Right, so if, if England were to win the World Cup and for... Uh, just an incredible series of events led you to being the person that was giving out the trophy to the England victorious England men's team. Were you going to be so overcome in your time of maximum effusiveness that you'd snog Harry Kane? <laughs> Look, I'm not saying Harry Kane's unattractive, but um, I think that's a yes. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think I would, to be honest. And what would you do? What would you think if, let's say? Prince William, who are as a, as, oh God, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I'm going to throw him in the tower. Who is our equivalent of Louis Rubialis? Was or similarly overcome in a moment of maximum effusiveness and kissed a Victorian, a, a victorious uh, England women's footballer on the cheek. No, no, on the lips. Went for it. Well, I don't. I mean, as I say, I think the English people, English people, are very different. I don't think he would do. And in the event he did, which I think is highly unlikely. Um, I don't think it would be a massive problem because I think it would be a mistake. Oh, come because it's just not in the English person, in the in the English character to do so. Oh, come on! We would oh, little error. The the Prince of Wales has snogged one of the. It's not. It's just. What's wrong with a handshake? Congratulations, handshake. Next one. Congratulations, handshake. Next one. But he can control himself. Tom is a husband and a father of three daughters. I find the Spanish FA president's behaviour unacceptable and disgusting. 
All those who are defending it should ask what they would think if their wife or daughter came home and said their boss grabbed them by the head and kissed them on the lips without consent in the middle of the workplace. As men, we have the responsibility to protect the rights and dignity of girls and women at all times and not dismiss or normalise behaviours that create an environment where abusive behaviour is justified. Anyone who does not agree with that is part of the problem, says Steve. I saw on... I, Steve, I agree with you, by the way. But I saw online... And there's a couple of them doing the rounds at the moment. I don't know why, why the algorithm chucks it up. But a young woman goes up to get her degree certificate. It's her graduation day, a very exciting moment for anybody. And she walks up to the stage, is handed the degree certificate by the provost of the university, whatever, the chancellor of the university. Shakes hand, thank you very much. And as she's walking off stage, on scuttles her boyfriend, who gets her attention whilst on stage, turns her round to face the crowd and proposes on stage at her graduation. I'm thinking, don't. Don't do that. Don't, don't make the moment about you. It's for her. She's, it's her graduation. You don't then suddenly try and piggyback off it by then launching your proposal. I just think, ah, it's claiming the spotlight again. Uh, Elias is in High Wycombe. Hi, Elias. Yeah, hello there. Um... I think this has got a hint of sour grapes myself in it. I, I, I think um, in the heat of the moment and everything, okay, the guy was just excited and uh, and and he did what he did. And, and oh, as long as the lies, lady... It's not enough. It's not enough to just go, oh, I was excited. You're not a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then, no, no, what do you mean? You're not a child. You're thinking like we're all human beings in, in the heat of the care, moment. But you're an adult. You should know what behaviour is appropriate or not. Well, I... Well, I, I think the, the, the world has gone a bit loopy with all, all, all this and that. I'm not saying back in going back X amount of time, it was it, it, things need to be changed, but it's gone completely opposite now. I mean, if that was the if England won the World Cup, if England ladies won the World Cup, and and some whoever went up there and, and the heat of the in the heat of the excitement, he um, done what he did. I don't think we'd be we'd be having a different conversation. You're joking, man. You are joking. No, I'm not joking. No, no. You, th you, you think you, it's appropriate for that to happen? No, I didn't say that. No, no, you're getting mixed up with appropriate and in the heat of the moment, OK? No. So, well, either so it's what appropriate or it's... I think there's pretty clear definitions here. Either it's an appropriate form of behaviour from a person who's excited because the team's won the World Cup, or it's inappropriate behaviour from a man who can't control himself because so he's so excited. Have you, have you ever been in a situation where you got that excited for, for a split couple of seconds? Oh, of you course. just do you, well, well, the, but I, do never, you know what I, mean? I never ran up, grabbed the nearest person and started snogging them. There, OK, and you're, you, you, you're saying the wrong words. The man didn't snog. What's the, what's the definition of a snog? Oh, God, it's nearly 10 o'clock in the morning. I can't get into this or I'd have a cup of tea. I, 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 what's, I don't know. It's too late to ask. I don't, maybe, it's something that, maybe it's James's topic at 10. I don't know. Maybe he'll do a phone in on what the definition of snogging is. I don't know. Elias, thank you. Julian's in Cartagena in Spain. Hi, Julian. Hi, Tom. Your thoughts as a Spaniard? Um, well, I, I live in Spain. I'm from uh, from Wales uh, initially. Um, it's not gone down very well over here. I rang in because I did some of the corners, callers trying to defend him. Uh, and it's unacceptable. Um, yes, in in Spain, people are a little more tactile. They do kiss each other on the cheek when you meet each other and, and greet people. But kissing on the lips um, is, is not acceptable in this. You know, you're in that type of appropriate uh, circumstance. But uh, clearly that, where that was, wasn't. Um, so it's not gone down down very well here at all you know and talking to my friends over here my spanish friends um they're um they're not very happy about it well i see this some of the spanish newspapers they, are up in arms about it they are yes it, it's on the news quite a yeah. bit over here there's other incidents on the news which uh, it's slightly different to the kissing as well there's pictures of him or video footage of him when they scored of him grabbing his groin and oh, rubbing his groin uh, and that so i think there's more to it this guy what is wrong with this man well, exactly. Yeah. Allowed out in public <laughs> and moments of any sort of mild peril or overexcitement that he just can't, just can't control himself. No, you know, and, and most people, I well, or I can say the people I come into contact with uh, are not like that at all, generally. Uh, and I think that's why the Spanish people and the papers out here are up in arms about it. It's not acceptable. There's the 
Spanish president has commented on it as well, um, Pedro Sanchez. Yeah. Um, but he can't do anything go, because quite, he's been... Yeah, he didn't quite go so far as to say he should lose his job, but he was pretty condemnatory up to a point.